The harvest of the berries is a very delicate process. The ripening of the berry is related to its sugar level rather than its color. Berries ripen from top to bottom. The berries on top of the racine ripen first, followed by the ones below. The bunch of berries is completely ripe when all berries contain the same sugar level, usually around 15 to 16 bricks. The color of the shank needs to be green. The color of the shank is dependent on the allotment and the quality of the fertilizer. The shank ripens before the berries. Trained workers carefully pick the racines and place them into crates. The amount of racine rows lying next to each other is dependent on the length of the racine, always two to three rows. It is important not to stack too many racines onto each other. Make sure the berries do not touch the bottom of the next crate so that the berries can still breathe. The workers carefully review the berries and check for color damages, sunburn, dry spots, molded berries. It is of utmost importance that only the perfect berries enter the cold store. Every crate is individually weighted. A label indicates the weight, date and time. Every worker has a card with his own barcode. The barcode is scanned every time a full crate is brought in and the crate is linked to the worker's barcode. Supervisors make sure everything goes well. The scanner saves all the information about the crate and the worker. This entails the weight, date, area of origin and the worker who picked the crate. The berries are brought directly to the facility. Berries must be pre-cooled as soon as possible. From ambient to 2 degrees in 24 hours. After pre-cooling, the berries are stored in CA rooms. Wooden crates are used for storage due to humidity reasons. Humidity means fungus. Wooden crates absorb humidity automatically and therefore one does not need to use extra cooling to take out humidity. Usage of plastic crates require one to discard more humidity. Never put plastic and wooden crates in the same cold store. This will always cause humidity problems. The berries are put in a cold CA room right after the fast pre-cooling in order to keep them on the same temperature level. The CA room is switched on after the room is completely filled up. The berries are stored under the conditions of 3% oxygen and 18% CO2. A special standard is used to stack up special black Paliflex pallets. The rubber band will later be used to seal the Paliflex bag. The berries are stacked onto the black Paliflex pallet. The bag is put over the crates.
The berry pallets are put onto each other and the bag is pulled down to the bottom. Make sure to fold the bags in the middle of the opening in the black pallet, not in the corners. Place the rubber band in position and lift up the black Paliflex pallet. As you can see, the idle space where the rubber band is placed will close. You have now created a gas-tight environment. Three hoses are attached to each Paliflex pallet. The one black hose injects nitrogen. The thin blue hose injects CO2 and the thick blue hose is used for measuring the conditions in the bag. One can easily detect a leaking bag after one day of storage. The big advantage of Paliflex is the storage flexibility it brings along.